In this video, I want to take a look at the graphs of the reciprocal trig functions. Now, for this video, we're not going to go into too much detail here for each individual reciprocal trig function and its graph. All I want to do is show the actual graph of that reciprocal trig function and then plot a few key points, such as the asymptotes for that curve. So, to begin with here, what I've got is y equals cosec x. So, we have cosecant here. And remember, cosecant is the reciprocal trig function here for sine x. This is equal to 1 over sine x. Okay. Now you might recognize straight away that we're going to have an issue here if sine x is equal to 0. Okay. We're going to have no values when sine x is equal to 0. But in that case, this leads us here to these vertical asymptotes. Okay. So we're going to have asymptotes here x equals minus 360 degrees, minus 108 degrees, 0 degrees, 108 degrees. And then finally, 360 degrees. Okay. And like you can see, we almost have this U going into an N, going into a U, going into an N, and so on. So it'll be another U, then it'll be another N, and so on. Okay. So that's Y equals cosec X. So now let's take a look at Y equals sec X. Moving on to the next reciprocal trig function now, what I've got here is a diagram of Y equals sec X. So remember, sec x, that's equal to 1 over cos x. So 1 over cos x here. So again, hopefully you might recognize that we're going to have an issue here. When cos x is equal to 0, that would mean we're dividing by 0. So in that case, we have no values when cos x is equal to 0. And again, that leads to these vertical asymptotes here. Okay. And they're a little bit trickier to see here. So let's just note these down. The asymptotes here. Uh, x equals, so this first one here will be minus 270 degrees. The next one here is minus 90 degrees. My next one along now is positive 90 degrees. And then finally, positive 270 degrees. Okay, so that's the asymptotes that we can see here on this diagram of y equals sec x. So that's everything we need there for y equals sec x. So now finally, let's take a look at sketching or the diagram here of cotangent. And finally, we arrive at the very last reciprocal trig function here. So this is a diagram of y equals cot x here. Okay, so this is cotangent. And remember cotangent here, this is the reciprocal of tangent. So 1 over tan x in this case. So again, we're going to have some issues here when tan x is equal to 0. So in that case, then the asymptotes here, like you can see, are at x equals minus 360 degrees, minus 108 degrees, 0 degrees, 108 degrees, and then finally 360 degrees. Okay. And it's as quick as that, but there we have it. So that's the graphs there of the reciprocal trig functions. And that brings us to the end of this video. In the next video, we're going to take a look at further trig identities.